Mel is one of those over the years, if I want to get a story right and I want information, I go to you, and I mean that. Uh, it's always been that way. So it's great to have you on board. Thank well, you. Thanks, Gary, for having me. And it's always been fun to talk baseball with you and be here now, talk a few books, too. Yeah, huh? and I love this. Uh, I, I always let the people who join us here select their own books, whatever they want. And Mel has brought in a couple of kid books, and we're going to start with this one. Yeah, we're going to start with this one. This is the book called John, Paul, George, and Ben. It's got a little bit of a Beatles uh, flair to it, but it's a story of the founder. Founding fathers, and it's the story behind the stories of the founding fathers. Would you like to hear a couple? I would like to hear one. Okay, yes. Okay, we all know that George Washington, the first president of the United States, Gary chopped down a cherry tree, and when his dad got mad at him. He told the truth, and his dad was very happy. But there's a story behind the story, according to John Paul, ben, George, John Paul, George, and Ben by Lane Smith. So I'm going to read it to you right now. George Washington, as a kid, was an honest lad, Gary. One day he took his shiny new hatchet and chopped down his family's cherry tree. And when his father discovered the tree, his father said, Son, do you know who killed this beautiful little cherry tree? And his son said, Father, I cannot tell a lie. "'Twas I who chopped down this cherry tree." Then his father said, "'Then run to my arms, dearest boy, "'for you have paid me in thousandfold with your honesty. "'I love your honesty.'" "'Really?' said George. "'Really?' "'In that case, when I tell you that I've taken out the apple orchard, "'leveled the barn, and made kindling of your carriage, "'you'll be a wealthy, wealthy man.'" Now, you didn't know that, did you, Gary? See what you learn by reading books? Exactly. It's, I, mean. <laughs> I love this. I read one of the other ones in here. This is a great book. What do you think the age on this for a youngster to read? Well, when my son Emmett was five or six years old, we were reading this. And, and I think, well, I did enjoy it more. He would say, why is that funny? Why are you laughing, Dad? <laughs> I said, I someday it. you'll love it and you'll understand it. But John, Paul, George, and Ben. You remember that John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Yeah. Well, John, Paul, George, and Ben. This has got a little bit of history like Lesson with a twist, with a with an ironic, a, his, uh, a humorous twist, and I love it. I love it. I think it's just great. Uh, the other one you brought is called called Cowboy and Octopus. Octopus. What's this about? This is a story. This is a story about the day in the life of a cowboy who has a friend by the who has a friend that is an octopus. And the storylines are hilarious. If you want, my son read this when he was six, and we still quote it. Really? We still quote it. He still quotes it. For instance, the cowboy, the cowboy makes dinner for the octopus. So cowboy decides to surprise octopus and make him a, death, a, a dinner. The octopus is definitely surprised. Heaven, said octopus as he looked out at the meal. What is all this? And the cowboy said, I cooked all my favorites just for you, Mr. Octopus. Beans and bacon, bacon and beans, and just plain beans with a little bit of bacon. Oh my, said octopus. Octopus doesn't like beans. He doesn't like bacon. But he doesn't like it that cowboys work so hard just for him. So octopus licks one bean. Mmm, -hmm. I am so full, octopus said. Cowboy smiles. He's glad his friend likes his surprise. Wait till you see what's for dessert, said cowboy. Octopus says, I'll bet I can guess. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever now whenever my son and I get together or, you know we get we're together all the time but I say what do you want for dinner beans and bacon bacon and beans and just a little bit of beans and when his wedding when he has his wedding Gary uh, and say, it's, gonna say, yeah, it's gonna beans and bacon and a little bit of beans and a little bit of bacon whatever but that's the type of thing these are my two favorite children's books we have read them galore we've read them a hundred times he's gonna remember them forever I hope I hope it pushed him into the joy of reading because now he's reading Harry Potter and Star Wars. It's not quite the same. You can't. <laughs> those those books are a little thicker, a little art, little a little more detailed. Mel, I can't thank you enough. This is a delightful. Those are two great books. Uh, we'll have the uh, covers online here along with the. Uh, along with your stories but these are just wonderful there so go. there you go a couple for the kids right there and mel it's been a delight thank you so much for doing this well thank you for having me let's get together for some bacon and beans or and beans and bacon <laughs> but only a little bit of beans okay <laughs>